I got a good Amazon deal on this Birchwood KC Perma Blue. The label and instructions were in Spanish, but I was able to find English instructions pretty easily online. The application procedure is the same as the Super Blue that I have used successfully on several projects. I chose an old nail set as my demonstration piece. I try to pick up old punches when I see them at yard sales and flea markets. I really dig the different knurling patterns. I had previously finished a couple of these with Super Blue, so I thought this would be a good way to compare the two products. The knurling cleaned up nicely with the wire wheel. The trick is to find the correct angle to best clean out the tiny grooves. I used my belt sander to clean up the flat surfaces. I was careful not to remove too much material around the maker's mark. If the metal got too hot to hold with my bare hands, I would dunk it in water to preserve the temper. I worked above the platen on the conical section. I also rounded the corners above the platen. Here's the nail set after the wire wheel and belt sander. I think I sanded down to 400 grit. I cleaned the part with denatured alcohol. In my experience, you can't clean the part too much. Once you think you have it clean, go ahead and wipe it down again. After cleaning with the denatured alcohol, I rinsed the part with tap water. I used a cotton ball to apply the perma blue to the rinsed and dried part. I let the bluing solution soak on the part for about one minute, then I rinse the part in water. After drying the rinsed part, I lightly buffed with super fine steel wool. I used a soft brass brush to buff the knurling. Then I repeated the process to apply a second coat. I would definitely recommend wearing gloves when working with any chemical like this bluing solution. I would also recommend using a fresh cotton ball with each coat and to avoid double dipping a dirty swab into the bottle. After the second coat was buffed out, I soaked the part in oil. I use non-detergent 30 weight. I like to let the part soak in oil at least overnight, if not longer. I like the 30 weight oil because it's pretty thick and clings to the part without drying out. Here's the Bridgeport 232nd nail set as I found it at the yard sale. And here's how it looks cleaned up and blued with Birchwood Casey's Perma Blue. The bluing came out pretty good. I like the color I achieved with two coats. Here's some photos comparing the Perma Blue nail set to a couple I finished with Birchwood Casey's Super Blue. I think the Perma Blue compares well with the Super Blue. 
I would recommend giving either product a try on your next project. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I had to promise Chuck that we would flit something.